So we got here 1619 by way of cargo slave ship. And it said that we were scattered into all lands on the earth. Scattered into all lands on the earth by way of slavery from 1619 up until today. All right, watch this, read. From the one end of the earth, even onto the other. From one end of the earth, even into the other. This is the Bible documenting our slavery, read. And there thou shalt serve other gods. Okay, now this is a big statement. It says when you got off of those cargo slave ships, wherever you landed, it says there. In that land, you're going to serve other gods. You're no longer going to serve the God of Israel, the God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. That's right. You're going to serve other gods. And we're going to show you what those other gods are. Read. Which neither thou nor thy fathers have known. Even wood. It says even wood and stone. And stone. This right here points out that our people... It shows what two major religions our people would gravitate toward. All right, so when you think about the wood, the wood, the wood, what religion bows themselves down to a piece of wood? Devil. You said the devils, I agree. But let's make, make it, plain it plain for the people. Right. Most Christians wear what item around their neck? Oh. No, no, think about it. As a piece of jewelry or a charm, a cross. they wear a cross. What is the cross made of? When Christ was on it, what was it made of? So listen again. Make it play. Which neither thou nor thy fathers have known. So when we got here, we would serve other gods that our fathers didn't know. Even wood, even wood, meaning Christianity. That's right. Even Christianity, right. read, and stone. So the second major religion that our people gravitate towards has to deal with a stone. And our people make a hodge or they pay homage to this stone. Right? Do you know what that stone is? Its people is across the street. That stone is the cobblestone. Right. That religion is Islam. Right. So the Bible tells us that because of our disobedience to God, we were going to be delivered to our enemy. We want to be scattered to all nations. And when we get off that boat, we want to be serving our enemies. We want to be under a false religion, Christianity, and Islam. Right? So, these are the things today. Now we're going to go back to Deuteronomy 101, because I want to make sure that you understand that these laws apply to you. All right? So we're going to take a trip back into history. We're going to go with Moses, and we're going to find out what Moses was telling us over 2,000 years ago. Right? Because you forgot. But we're going to bring it back to your remembrance. Deuteronomy 101. Deuteronomy chapter 1, verse 1. These be the words which Moses spake unto all Israel. So Moses, unlike the Christian church, was only speaking to the Israelites. Only the Israelites. I know in your mind you got John 3.16 that says, For God so loved the world. Right? But guess what? That world that God so loved was the world of Israel. That's right. His children. My children mean the world to me. I can't speak for nobody else's children. God is speaking about his children being the world that Everything was created for. Right. All right. Uh, go to uh, 15, 28 and 15. Watch this. Deuteronomy chapter 28, verse 15. But it shall come to pass if thou wilt not hearken unto the voice of the Lord thy God to observe to do all his commandments. So there's that word again. It said, if we don't observe to do, observe, meaning there's a day coming. I need to prepare myself for it. There's certain things I need to have. And uh, there's a criteria on things you can and you cannot do. That what, that's what it goes into when it says observe to do. Observe to do. You have to understand, mm -hmm. then do. Right. Read. All his commandments. No, some of the commandments. All his commandments. Read. And his statutes, which I command thee this day, that all these curses shall come upon thee and overtake thee. So the Bible says because of our disobedience that curses 
were going to come upon the children of Israel and overtake them. Right. All right. So let's see if these curses line up with your history. What you got? Verse 16. Cursed shalt thou be in the city and cursed shalt thou be in the field. So in the city of Rocky Mount, are the so-called blacks and Hispanics, are they blessed here in Rocky Mount? Our neighborhoods, are they are they like clean, like just spiffy? Or are we living in a curse? Just look around. Look, where are, where are all of our black men? In prison or either dead, right? It says cursed in the city. The city of Rocky Mount, the so-called Israelites are cursed. We're, we're around here dealing with heroin, crack cocaine, cocaine, marijuana, popping pills. Those things are a curse. And we didn't go out and manufacture any of those things. But we're the ones getting charged with them. We're the ones suffering from the effects of them. Right. Right. Right? Read. Verse 32. Thy sons and thy daughters shall be given unto another people. All right, so the question. What point in history were the so-called blacks, their sons and their daughters, given to another people? Now, this is Bible prophecy that Moses is speaking to the Israelites, telling them that if you keep the commandments, you'll be above all people. But if you break them, you're going to go into captivity. Right. All right? So, uh, read it again. Thy sons and thy daughters shall be given unto another people. Did that happen to the black man? Was the so-called when? What, what time period did that happen? And what is that called? Slavery. It's called slavery. Teach. Right? And that happened to the blacks, yeah, Hispanics, and Native Americans. But well, we're reading this out of the Bible. This Bible is not a religious book. It's a history book. Teach. Right? Our history book. If you wondered what happened before 1619, you can go find it right here. All right? Read on. And thine eyes shall look and fail with longing for them all the day long. So during slavery, could you go and get your children once they was taken away from you? You couldn't get them. So it says your eyes was uh, longing for them all the day long, right? Meaning like uh, in, the, in Roots. You seen Roots before? And uh, when Kizzy was taken away by the master. Her mother was like, no, not my daughter, master. I've been a good, I've been good to you, master. Not my daughter. But what did he do? He sold kids. And all she could do was long for her daughter, look for her, try to get her back. There was no power in her hand, meaning she had no military might. There was no police that she could call. None of the men could help her get her daughter back. And there shall be no might in thine hand. Verse 33. The fruit of thy land and all thy labors shall a nation which thou knowest not eat up. So what were we doing in slavery? Explain explain what we were doing in slavery. We were doing all the work for the white folks and they were doing nothing. Right. We was doing all the work and getting beat and, getting beat and they were doing nothing, living it high off the horse. Listen to this again. Read that one more time. The fruit of thy land. The fruits of thy land and all thy labors. And all thy labors shall a nation which thou knowest not eat up. So who ate up our labors? What man? White man. The so-called white man. The Teach. Bible is pointing out to right. you who your enemy is. Understand this is not uh, something that we're making up. We're reading directly out of the scriptures. The scriptures that your pastors jump around. They don't want to they don't want to teach this because they can't teach this. They've been set up by that same man that oppressed you. That same man that sent you into captivity. They learned this doctrine from. Right. You understand? Where we at? Read it. And thou shalt be only oppressed and crushed always. All right, now we read 48. Okay, so let's go to uh 68. Watch this. So we're going to make sure that you understand that this, this right here, what you see, is Bible prophecy. You standing in front of us today is a witness that the Bible is a real book. All right? Watch this. Deuteronomy chapter 28, verse 68. And the Lord shall bring thee into Egypt again with ships. So the Bible says that the Lord is going to bring you into Egypt. What does Egypt mean? The word Egypt is synonymous with bondage. Bondage. So it says the Lord is going to bring you into bondage again. How? What, what is the mode of transportation? If you heard it. It says with ships. What people 
When is the captivity on ships? Uh, us. The sister says us. So what does the Bible call us? What is our biblical name? Go to Deuteronomy 101. Deuteronomy chapter 1 verse 1. These be the words which Moses spake unto all Israel. So who are we? We are the Israelites. We are the Israelites. All right. What, what tribe are you from, sis? On that sign. What tribe, are you, if you remember? The black. So the, the black would be what tribe? This one right here. Judah! You from the tribe of Judah, sis. All right. Um. We used to scream black power while Haram was pushed. But at the end of the day, nothing's in vain. IUIC has been given a vision. The tents of Judah has risen. Many has attempted the mission. Minor murmuring, omitting, and missing the mark. Just reading that he had the flame of fire in his eyes gave us the spark. We on Paul's mission. We out on the road, purple and gold. From Mexico, Cuba, Haiti, Ghana, Sierra Leone. 144,000 boots banging, concrete crackling. These are how our men repented at heart. The scriptures is proof. IUIC, we deliver the truth.